Let's talk Brat Summer, celebrity ticket prices, and Taylor's chart blocking spree. In this episode of Unpacked, where we uncover the biggest pop culture stories so you don't have to. First topic inside of our box is the price of concert tickets. And I've got a little Ooh. game before we go any deeper in talking about this. I want you to guess the average ticket price to a celebrity's concert. Okay. I've got five different celebrities here. See how close you can get. You ready? I'm ready. I am ready. I feel like I can get this. Like, I'm confident. Okay. Sabrina Carpenter. Right. She's taken off a bit. She's gone huge now. So I'm going to say... 300 quid, 300 pounds. Sabrina's is actually $113 a ticket. Average. Bargain queen, all right. Not bad. Sabrina. Billie Eilish. Right, she's a bit bigger than Sabrina. Been, she's a bit more established, I'd say, maybe in the music industry. So I'm gonna say 500. <laughs> my disappointment is immeasurable. <laughs> oh my, $193. I don't know what I'm acting like. I, I haven't been These, You're thinking for a while. resale tickets. These are like right, proper. Okay. Okay, fair Harry enough. Styles. All right, I'll take it down a notch. 200. $163. I'm getting closer, you see. Chapel Rowan. Oh, I'd pay anything to see Chapel, but I'd say 100. $67. It's gonna, it's gonna increase, but that's, is. that surprised me. All right, and finally, the queen herself, Taylor Swift. Oh, it's Taylor Swift. I, I saw the discourse about some ticket prices for Taylor, so it's gotta be up there. 400. $114. What? See, what baffled me with that the most is the fact that people were talking about how Sabrina opened up for Taylor yes. in her tour. And now she is charging more than a Taylor Swift <gasps> concert. Ta Taylor's concerts are known to be pretty affordable. I've been scammed. I've I been know. told so much more. I've not gone to see Taylor thinking it would be more. That's why it's put me off. Do you think these concert prices are way too expensive? Because a festival these days, you can go to a festival true. for like, you know, 90 pounds for a day and see a load All of, of them. different artists. Yeah, it's true. I, I feel like they are going higher, but clearly my expectations are through the yeah. roof. So for me, I'm like, oh, bargain. How much would it. you pay for a, a ticket to your to your favorite celebrities concert? All right, if it'd be to my fave, it'd be to Lana Del Rey. And I would pay, honestly, I'd pay anything for that woman. 250, pushing it. That's, that's a lot. Concert, pushing it. That is pushing it. No me. more. No more than 250. That's, that's Even that is a lot of money. Exactly. I feel like that's that's breaking the bank for me. I'm not going to push and it anymore. I was doing a bit of research actually on this and found about how Ticketmaster, they do do this thing called dynamic pricing. Have you ever oh, heard of it? No, I haven't heard of this. What's but that? it's where they will adjust the price based on the demand of the tickets. So if loads of people are on the site and celebrities can opt out of this, but that's probably why, for example, Sabrina Carpenter, she was playing in like a 17,000 capacity venue yeah and 160,000 people are queuing for that oh ticket for like for the concert so the so price of is going to go up exactly whereas taylor swift 100,000 people 200,000 people in a stadium maybe the tickets are going to be a bit more affordable it's cheeky that is it's cheeky. greedy i mean can people stop being fans so i can actually afford to see my face yeah that would be it's really getting ridiculous <laughs> now it's time to talk about the biggest moment of the year it's brat girl summer I wore green for this, I'm ready. <laughs> now, Charlie XCX, the brat queen herself, she has actually said you need an edgy mix of luxury and trashy items to be a brat. So I've got mm. a little list for you of okay. bratty items and non-bratty, what Charlie has said herself, and I want you to guess what you think is brat and what's not. Uh -huh. Right, so I feel like this is quite tricky, actually. I, I, I would struggle. So a luxury speedboat. I'd say that's brat. Right on the nose. You're right. It's yeah. brat. We started okay. easy. Nice, We're nice. easing into it. Now you've got champagne glasses full of liquor, of course. It's brat. It is brat. Yeah, it's very course, brat. I don't think you is. could get more brat than that, no, to be honest. That's trashy and luxury at the it same is. time. Now, flip-flops. Simple. Flip-flops. Nah. I don't think that's brat. It's you? not. It's not. Is it but not? It's actually not. It's not. It's not. Charlie hasn't said it is, but then there is a debate that anything can be brat. It's not. Getting your feet out, a bit grim. It is a little bit. It's not giving brat. Yeah, girl. no thanks. Um, a beach ball. I'm gonna say that's brat. You know, I don't know if it will be. I'm sorry, Tony. It's your first no. It's 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 not brat. Well, sorry. maybe our brat summers are different then. Maybe we have a different idea of what <laughs> brat girl summer is. Clearly. Go on, hit me. Uh, you got your sun cream. That is not brat at all. No, it's you, not. I mean, I'm all about your health and safety when it comes to going for a suntan, but a brat girl is not going to worry about putting sun cream yeah. on. You get burnt, you put up with the tan. I mean, yeah. that's brat girl energy win, anyway. Win. Exactly. Exactly. Brat girls aren't about their health and safety, just saying. So what did I get? Four out of five. Yeah. I'll take that. You you did pretty good. I'd I'm, say a, I'm a brat. Where am I on the brat list? I'm a... I mean, you're up there. I'm a brat. I'm not sure if you're a certified I'm a brat, brat. Brat with a beach ball. 
All right, I'll take we'll it. We'll take that. Brat with a beach ball. We'll take I mean, that. Free ones it's an inclusive moment, moment. Right? Exactly. I mean, you look at the US election, <laughs> Kamala Harris is literally leading her campaign, Lime Green. She is a brat girl. Charlie said she is brat. Yeah. I mean, we all need to have our brat moment. I hope you, you got are. the trashy, but not the luxury. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we're, we're taking it that way, are we? I mean, you're right, to be honest. Yeah, I'm not all about the luxury. I mean, in the UK, can you have a brat girl summer? I feel like... Let's be real. <laughs> if we're not all about the sunshine, I mean, Charlie has her LA house for a reason. Right, the final topic in the box is chart blocking. Now, we know oh, this gosh. is a big thing, especially when Taylor Swift gets mentioned. Mm -hmm. And I want to read to you a couple fan theories, a couple fan reactions okay. of how people have handled the situation with Taylor blocking, let's say, wow. Charlie, SZA, Billie Eilish. The yeah. list kind of goes on, and, and fans <laughs> aren't happy. So, welcome to Who Did Taylor Block That Week? Oh, Let, let's read a tweet. We're going to get and See what the fans are saying about Taylor blocking said okay. artist. Well, the fans are saying it, not us, so there you go. Now, first of all, we got Charlie XCX. Genuinely have no interest in Charlie XCX, and even I'm quite taken aback by Taylor Swift blatantly blocking her from number one. Like, come on, there's got to be stricter rules set around this. Now, this was when Brad. Okay. was tipped to debut number one but to block charlie's brat taylor released three variant album versions that week she did and then exclusively for that week and then got rid of them i mean charlie did get her number two so yes yeah, she was blocked from number one but she still had a moment i get why people especially charlie fans would be mad because they want to see they want to see their queen their girl you know getting that number one of course it's what you cheer them on for of course but it's interesting what the fans said about getting stricter rules around this. Like, do you really think the industry would stop kind of artists from just releasing music? Like, it's you can't tough. restrict that. I mean, the power Taylor Swift has, it's just like, yeah, she can just put out a new a new remix of, of the album, a new yeah. mix of the album, and like she can do that. And I know it's not her controlling it, it's the team. Because it is a little bit insane. I mean, you've got another example of Billy. Yeah, Eilish, well, right? I mean, let's take it to the US as well because that was Charlie getting blocked in the UK but of course, yeah, we saw with Billy as well with her album, she got blocked. Um, a fan said, I can guarantee you nobody outside of Twitter, now X, is thinking that Taylor Swift is blocking Billy from number one. Everyone just thinks Billy released an album, Ill Chart. And why do you care about numbers so much anyway? Isn't the music itself the most important? Since June, there's been, I think, over 34 versions of Taylor's album, That's The Tortured Poets Department. And it's... That's that is crazy. That I mean, is the album was released, obviously, over a month ago, almost two months ago now. And it's just like, come on, is it like, is there need for more versions? And I, I have seen people say as well how, like, Taylor's meant to be a girl's girl, as, you know, in the industry, she's very vocal about misogyny yep. in the industry and being, you know, supportive of other female artists. But she seems to be releasing these different versions when other top female artists are releasing their albums. So that's why yep. people are getting quite touchy about it. And I can understand why they'd get sensitive I mean, about this. Not just that album, though. Let's talk about SZA. Oh, because Tom. a couple fans were getting annoyed as well. Maybe it's because SZA didn't release any versions every week to purposely block other artists. No one will be dragging Taylor if she was doing this organically, but she has to resort to chart gaming tactics. I feel like people are... They're, they're looking into it maybe too much, but then I do get what they're saying in terms of the placement and the time of when she's releasing stuff against yeah. another artist or alongside another artist. So I, I get both points. I, mean, I get both. I guess it's just a tactic that, as you said, the artists want number ones. And if you have that power that Taylor does, and she does, then maybe you just take advantage of it. I don't know. What do you think? Would you get angry? I, I love to see my faves get the number ones. I can't lie. Like, it's a great feeling. Yeah. I, I don't know if I'd get angry. I feel like it's such a competitive business anyway. So people, yeah. of course, are going to want to support their faves. And so I'd love to hear some of the artists get involved in this and actually maybe calm down the whole noise and say, guys, it's fine. I'm just here to make music. But yeah, we'll let wait us and know see. what you think below. Like, do you care about your favorite artists being chart blocked or not? What do you think? Well, Jack, the box is now empty. Let us know what you would like us to unpack next. And don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.